so there's a new series of videos that i'll be starting these series of videos are called game studio setup and i'll be talking about my experience what i've been through to set up a game studio and if you're an indie dev if you're a solo dev or a small team such as three or five members this might be helpful for you i've condensed the information in this video which is only suitable for indies in my opinion which might be less than five members of you know team size because this would not work for like a huge indie team also take this video as a reference guide rather than a rule of thumb because uh, usually what happens is like when you watch one of these videos you think that whatever i'm saying is uh, true but this is more of a reference rather than fact because you might have to do things that are more suitable for you for example if you are an esports studio versus single player story mode games it's two different things uh, all together but nonetheless you can just use this video as a guide rather than just blindly following it uh, as per your requirement the first video in the series of game studio setup is about budgeting now before anything else like you know if you want to create a pitch deck you want to uh, probably like write a gdd document or whatever it is i would highly suggest you to make a budget sheet the reason why i want you to do a budget sheet is to you have to get an estimate of roughly how much of expenses that you'll be incurring let us say you're someone who's living by yourself and you have taken this plunge of making your own indie game which is a popular trend these days the huge problem that people fall into is not looking at their savings in general or like what kind of costs they will be incurring taking that plunge which later they realize that they should have done some better calculations because they're not able to meet their financial need either end up scrapping the project or probably you know halting it and then starting once again once they have funds so to avoid these scenarios i feel that budgeting is the most essential part of starting a game studio the reason you have to do budgeting first is that you will be using the information that you get in the budgeting sheet to uh, put it in your pitch deck let's say you want to showcase investors or publishers that how much money it's going to take and why it's going to take you need to first come up with a budget schedule or a budget sheet in general to showcase them give them more details on why this project is costing what you have quoted let's just dive in process of making a budget sheet i've also linked this budget sheet in the description so you can access it from the link below and you can make a copy and use it for your own game all right let's dive right in so as soon as you open the budget schedule you will get to see this uh, first page of summary but all the budget related things you will actually start off with the budget sh budget schedule now what exactly is this budget schedule it is actually used by in most of these big companies there is a finance department which actually does this they have like a finance guy and you know, estimate how much it takes for um, them to like actually make a game and uh, based on that they use this sheet in order to you know make this so what i've done is i've actually simplified this for indies uh, because in those sheets usually there is like a plethora of information that is usually not uh, necessary for like a small team i think uh, although you can go into intricacies of that but i recommend to keep it keep things a lot simple and by the way this is not something that i come up with i have been uh, tutored or mentored by uh, different cohorts that i had taken uh, of playstation and xbox uh, there are industry leaders whom i have learned this from and i've just like simplified it for for indies like let's say if you're a one person team this will also work so uh, let's just get started with the budget schedule tab so as you can see uh, the first thing that we are starting off with is salaries and uh, i've broadly classified my expenses in five cat categories that is salaries outsourcing and then let me just uh, zoom out a little bit for ease of uh, viewing and uh, software outsourcing software travel marketing and yeah accounting and uh, sorry it says marketing and accounting now this is no standard way of taking this if you you want you can actually you know cut make a separate uh, row all together for marketing and accounting i'll just mix these two things together because although marketing is the most important thing usually when you're making your first game you just want to get the product built first and uh, that's the reason i uh, wanted to make it this way so if you can see the graphical info uh, it's again uh, categorized into one two three four five categories as we start filling these uh, this data will be derived from this sheet and this will all get updated similarly the cost and revenue if you can see uh, the yellow part which is the cost of production will be updated from the budget schedule and uh, si simultaneously we're going to do that so i'll just give you an example so let's say uh, you have a team of four a programmer and an artist an animator designer and a director uh, if you're a solo dev i think you'll you will 
actually delete these three columns and then just probably have like a programmer and like a solo dev and then just you know pay yourself but we are not going to do that and for ease of calculations what i'm going to do is probably uh, i'll just take a very base salary so for example i'm just going to put 500 us dollars and i'm going to calculate this in us dollars because uh, it's a lot easier for you to set a standard um what i mean by that is you can always convert that into some other uh, currency so if you can see as soon as i update this this changes let me just zoom into that programmer takes 500 dollars artist say takes 500 dollars you see the production cost over here is updating i'll just bo uh, make this in bold and probably you know change the color of this to the production cost into maroon or let me just give just put the background to a color where you can see so yeah we will keep a flat rate of 500 dollars for designer as well as the director okay fine so what i'm going to do right now is quickly fill up all the sheet uh, and show you how this will then reflect uh, so as of now i've only updated the salary section and if you go on the graphic info tab you see the salary section is being updated and currently the entire fund is only occupied by salaries you go to the cost and revenue section you see only this part is being updated we still haven't set our game price and targets target units to sell that is something that you need to determine by yourself um also the conversion rate is currently set to uh, indian rupees as in the time of making this video the the us dollar rate was 83.81 usd uh, indian rupees so that's what we are uh, following right now okay so the next thing that i wanted to show you in the budget schedule is if you can see uh, on the top you have january february march april may june july which is all the way till august of 2025 uh, december of 2025 i've made an assumption that you know uh, this project will last for 12 12 months or a year so if you are making a project for 12 months or a year how much budget that you will be incurring so let's say every month you are just paying salaries of 2000 so i'll just update this till i'll just copy these uh, section and paste it till let's say june till june you get to pay everything and let's say if if this project usually spans more than a year then you also have to factor in costs for inflation so the way i do this is i can just simply go and search for inflation rate globally so you get 4.1% so i'll just consider inflation rate as 5% you can consider depending upon whatever times the i mean are going on based on that you can make assumptions for uh, inflation so what i'm going to do is hit equal sign this and multiply this with 1.05 and that's what i'm going to get and i'll just repeat that 525 copy it and paste it i'm going to do this for the rest okay so as you can see for only salaries it's costing me 24000 us dollars and let's say uh, i also want to outsource my art somewhere in the month of april or may somewhere close to launch okay let me just put this a little bit towards the top okay so you can see uh, the art section so now we are at the outsourcing tab and probably in the month of april i or in the month of you know june i want to want to outsource my art and probably my budget for that is another 500 dollars and somewhere during you know close to launch i'm again going to spend 500 dollars i'm just going to keep flat 500 dollars this is not really realistic uh, budgeting but you get the point of uh, doing this and then i want to localize in all the languages of you know 500 dollars 500 dollars and 500 dollars so that gives me gets me to a budget of 2500 for outsourcing by doing this you're actually scheduling your expenses like you know that in you know 5 months from now or 6 months from now this is the kind of cost you will be incurring and then something similar with software as well like probably you have a website and again i'm going to do the same 500 for website somewhere in the month of july that i begin to host this might change depending upon what you are trying to do and i'm going to spend 500 dollars monthly for um this as well and yeah just 500 flat for everything so that we have ease of course steam fees is 100 dollars which we know so i'm just going to put in 100 dollars and you can see like as we 
keep filling this the budget sheet keeps getting up updated and if you go to the graphical info section we still have only updated uh, salaries outsourcing uh, software which is actually contributing to all this go back to our budget schedule so travel costs again let's see we can same let's say you are going to gdc somewhere or you know some uh, for me for me the major event is igdc which is at the time of somewhere around no november every year so i'm gonna again put 500 dollars flat for everything for the sake of this example and then marketing and accounting uh, i'm just gonna do the same for the like for the last five 500 500 i'm just putting random numbers over here for just so that we can just get an estimate of the production cost for marketing okay now you go back and see that your for bare minimum or like uh, i can actually change this like for like uh, total budget budget we can call it budget distribution and then so you can use this infographics and put it in your pitch deck to showcase to your investors or publishers that why you need the money what you actually quoted and now if you go back to the cost and revenue tab you can see that all the everything that was in blue was derived from the budget schedule so it, it is 33200 is the same over here 33200 so that's your production cost now if for this game to be profitable how many copies you need to uh, sell considering this is only on one platform let's say if there is another platform you can just copy this and you have to paste it over here and instead of steam this might be like you know android or you know something else so we're not going to do that at this moment for this example we were on, we will only be considering one platform that will be steam so the way we go ahead is we will not touch this because this has been derived from the budget schedule now you need to play around with these cells in order to find how many copies you need to sell just to like you know break even in the first year or if you want to make some sort of a profits that you have in your mind uh, but for this example we'll only be considering break even for a game like what i'm making or you know like for again hypothetically we can just keep the average price of the game at ten dollars Let, let's say you have the game at probably twenty dollars and you give a fifty percent discount and the game retails at an average of ten dollars then you're supposed to sell probably you can just play around with this so i'm going to just put in five thousand units that i want to sell within a year this is again post a year of release of the game how many units that it's it should sell so for to be profitable so if i put five thousand units uh five thousand units it gives me fifty thousand dollars which may gives which comes to a gross revenue of thirty three thousand us dollars which is almost similar because you, you don't have accurate numbers so probably like now you can 5200 copies maybe so it breaks even there like you know whatever money that you invested uh, to make the game you're getting that kind of money back if you want to break even in 12 months i just want you can just update this to 12 so every month you should be generating a, a rough revenue of 2860 uh, us dollars or like 2 lakh odd indian rupees in order to break even in within a year Otherwise, let's say the sales are a little bit slow, probably like, you know, it might take, I don't know, like 24 months, two years. Then I think, so let's say your game is uh, generating around, you know, 1400 US dollars per month. Then it's going to take 24 months for you to actually uh, break even or, you know, you can play around with those numbers. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to bring the number of months to back to 12 months. And this is the standard rate. Now we enter the summary section. So in the summary section, you can see that all this has been derived from the budget sheet. I'll just quickly go and change the color to blue so that we indicate this has been uh, derived from that. Bear in mind, let's say if you in the first year of your production, you, you barely made any kind of profit. The second year after release, let's say you plan to sell $2,400 and seven because but you don't have any production negligible production cost or you might have like bare minimum probably you're porting the game to something else then you might have some expenses usually it's a better in the second year but obviously the game's not going to sell much so that's about it about this budget sheet and if you feel that you know anywhere i've done any mistakes if you're an expert at this please make sure you comment below and you know talk about something or if there's something that you don't understand in this sheet please feel free i've uh, attached the link to the sheet in the description please feel free to click it and yeah see you guys in the next video thanks for watching